Wikipedia. My new apartment. Uh, this is my bedroom. I'm very excited about it. Do you want me to show you all the rooms? Okay, I'm gonna show you all the rooms because yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, it's a kind of a disaster. So I'm gonna show you everything, but there's like bags everywhere. So it doesn't look nice. I also don't have a kitchen table. I don't have a couch. Yeah, I have no chairs. I have nothing to sit on. I have my bed in here and that's all I got, but okay, I'm just gonna show you. I'll show you. Okay, so this is my bedroom, which doesn't look like much, but it's pretty nice. Okay, just wait. Closet on this wall. Got a little sconce, very into that. The door is there. And then over here, giant closet that's built into the wall. Look at that stained glass window. It's so nice. My bed is on this wall with the biggest window ever. It's so huge. Yeah, I really like my room. This is my bedroom. Okay, the bathroom has another stained glass window. So nice. There's a bathtub, which is a detail that I was not willing to compromise on. I knew I wanted to live in an apartment that had a bathtub because I take a bath almost every single day. It doesn't have a window. That was the one thing that I was a little bit bummed about because I just like having natural light in my bathroom when I'm getting ready. But everything else about it, I really like. The medicine cabinet is just pretty standard, like old ass medicine cabinet. Uh, the sink. The toilet is a normal toilet. The floor has rust stains. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's pretty standard bathroom. Okay, then we walk down this very skinny little hallway and into the living room, which is full of stuff that I have to put away. But yeah, huge windows. The fireplace is the original fireplace. All the sconces are the original sconces. I finally have my credenza back from my old place. I left it at my old apartment with my ex when I moved and I just got it back, which I'm excited about. So that's the living room. I'm gonna put a huge couch in front of this window. And uh, yeah, and then the kitchen. That's the only <clears throat> other room. The kitchen, also full of stuff. Oh yeah, I had all my friends help me move. That's why there's all of that beer and that Ikea box. There were like 10 of us and they were so helpful. It's so nice having friends that like to lift things for you. Okay, then we go into the kitchen. Amazing window, such a good window. I'm gonna put so many plants on that little ledge right there. Then we've got these built-in cabinet things. It's actually really messy in here. Sorry, it's kind of disgusting. I'll show you again when it looks nice. Uh, the cabinets are great. And then the sink, which, sorry, it's, it's gross. That's lemon juice all over the sink. This is a brand new sink. Isn't that crazy? They just put this in right before I moved in. And yeah, Joni's litter box lives beside the fridge, right? over there, so I'm not gonna show you because that's kind of gross. And yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing. This is where I live now, and I'm gonna spend the whole day unpacking, and then I'm gonna run out and get some things like a mop and a garbage can for my kitchen and just other things that I don't have. And then I'm gonna spend a bunch of time today looking for a table that'll fit in my kitchen and potentially a chair for my living room so that I have other things to sit on. I love it here. 
I really, really, yeah, I'm really happy. to go to a friend's place to borrow his car so I can just run some errands. I need to go and get a trash can. I don't have a bath mat. Mm, I just need to pick up a couple things. So we're going to go and get those. Yeah. I've been working on putting all my clothes away for I think like the last two hours. Packing up all my clothes and putting my clothes away has been the most labor intensive part of moving, which is kind of funny. But I just want everything to be folded nicely because I don't want to just like stuff everything in drawers just to put it away. But it feels really good. I've never had a closet that has shelves and real organization. So this is nice. I really like my closet. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that driving makes me really nervous, especially when I'm driving someone else's car. So hopefully I don't get into an accident, um, obviously. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. Like, we're gonna go run the errands now. Yeah. Hi. Yesterday, I ran all the errands that I was supposed to run, but my day didn't really go as I had planned. I basically ended up going to Canadian Tire. I got a garbage can, a bath mat, and all the things that I was planning to get, and that was great. I went and gave my friend his car back, and then when I came home, I was unpacking all of the stuff that I had bought. One of those things was a knife. And I was unwrapping the knife and I sliced my finger open and it was bleeding a lot and I didn't know if I was gonna have to get stitches. Yeah, so basically I just ended up having a big gash on my hand and couldn't really unpack a lot of the things that I I've been planning to unpack and I just didn't get as much, nearly as much done as I thought I would. I ended up like going for dinner instead and not being able to cook because I can't really wash dishes now because I just have this, there's like a big open wound underneath this. So today I think it'll be fine if I'm lifting stuff and moving it around, but I do have to go help my mom with something this afternoon. I have a meeting and then this evening I'm gonna spend the whole evening unpacking everything, putting everything away, and then hopefully my place will feel a little bit more inhabitable. I bought a couch last night. That's gonna come, it might be in like two weeks. So I'm gonna not have a couch for two weeks, but I think this week I'll try to get a kitchen table, some kitchen chairs, and then just have more places to sit. So today it's gonna be more unpacking and organizing stuff, but yeah, that's it.
morning. I'm just about to get dressed and then I'm gonna go have all my extensions put back in my hair. So I'm gonna go sit in the chair in a salon for like five hours. And it's gonna be great. Uh, my friend does my hair, her name's Emily. And so I just get to go and hang out with Emily and it's gonna be really nice. And then we got emojis and like, I don't know about you, but I use emojis all the time. Like all of the emojis, but... My favorite thing about living alone is that I can spend the entire day just walking around my house in my underwear and there's nobody to tell me not to do that. And that brings me to the sponsor of our video, which is Organic Basics. They sent me so many great pairs of underwear and a couple little baby tees like this one that I've been wearing. I've just been wearing this the entire time I've been unpacking. It's a perfect little t-shirt. I love it. Organic Basics is a Copenhagen-based brand that uses recycled, recyclable, plant-based, and organic materials. They also use an ethical means of production and only collaborate with people, factories, and companies that are as passionate about making high-quality basics as they are. Organic Basics is super transparent about their climate impact and are a certified sustainable brand, so you can trust that their products are going to do as little harm to the planet as possible. Not only are their basics sustainable, they're soft and comfortable and cute. You can use my code LaurenXOB to get 10% off site-wide. Get yourself some fun underwear. Get yourself a cute little baby tee and don't harm the planet. I just had all of my hair put back in. I've slept on it. Today, it's the next day. I talked to you yesterday, but it's the next day now. So it's looking, it's a little flat, but Emily did such a good job blending it. It's all so long. It's really, really long. I'm thinking maybe I'll leave it like this for a week and then I might cut a little length off just because it doesn't look super natural just because of how long it is, but I'm really happy with it. Today, oh, I'm going to a wedding social tonight. I guess if you're not from Manitoba, you wouldn't know what that is. Uh, basically, if you get married in Manitoba, it's perfectly acceptable to throw, it's like a little fundraiser party to basically raise money for you to have a wedding. And so you sell tickets to the social and your friends and your family, they buy tickets and they sell tickets for you. And it's kind of just like a big party with raffle prizes and snacks and really cheap booze. And everyone just dances and you win little prizes. Actually, usually the prizes are really good. Typically it'll be things like a TV, like a massive TV and people donate prize packages with like a year's worth of pizza and things like that, like spa gift cards and stuff. So yeah, going to that tonight. The theme for the social is St. Pat Disco St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, so like 70s St. Patrick's Day. So I have to come up with an outfit for that. Oh, and I'm going out for dinner. I'm going to one of my favorite restaurants for pizza and we're gonna drink a bunch of wine and it's gonna be really fun. <laughs>